Okay, this is very simple. This is the main entrance to Victoria. You've got steps down, uh, there's one staircase there, the second staircase there, there's a third staircase uh, from the southeastern concourse, but now there's brand new lifts from this level down into the ticket hall. So this is quite, uh, this is quite nice, it's not just one lift, uh, sensibly because there's so many people that will be coming off uh, the mainline station into the tube. They've put in two lifts here, so these two quite short but very handy lifts take you immediately down. London Underground Ticket Hall and lift to train. To the ticket hall level. So, we're in the main ticket hall. Now, this gate line here is the traditional gate line which, you know, commuters over 10, 15, 20 years have been programmed come down through those gates, down those escalators over there. Recently, they opened up this brand new gate line to the right, and there's another set of three new escalators that are going down. So there, there are some people getting in right now, the new lifts. Those are the new lifts to the subsurface platforms, but I'm gonna take the escalators, which are just around the corner here, which lead you to the new corridors to take you to the Victoria line. Straight away, this is one of my greatest tips. At the moment, if you're uh, if you're coming off National Rail and you're going to the uh, the westbound District or Circle lines, you walk down this corridor, you turn right. There's like a wide gate and a little narrow gate, and it often gets very congested. So my amazing new tip, for Victoria, is come in the new gate line, come down this escalator set here, and then the westbound platform is just over here. So that, I think, is the, is the better, fastest way from the ticket hall to get to the westbound subsurface. Here, this is the old stairs up from the Victoria Line, and then here, just here, just here, just here, just here, this is the new corridor, which leads to those steps which we just came up, but down here, it takes you to the lift. Okay, so this is the lift that's on the westbound side of the digital circle line, so top minus one, which is where we'll go, was the entrance. Minus two here is what takes you to the westbound subsurface lines. And you go down to minus three if you want to go to the eastbound subsurface lines or change the Victoria line. Slightly confusing, but only because there's all these new corridors that when you've been used to Victoria like I have for so many years, when there's like a new thing, you're like, what? Where does, where does that come from? The thing to do is come and try it for yourself. Come and explore the new corridor. So we've come from the main Victoria ticket hall there. If you go down this one, this will lead to Cardinal Place. And they've got another new corridor here. And this takes you to the top of the old escalators that came up from the Victoria line. And there should also, there should also be a lift to the eastbound subsurface. So that's lift F, which goes from minus four to minus three to minus two. I'll flash up on screen a diagram of the lifts. It is confusing, I'll give you that, but it is great that there is step-free access. If I'd have stayed in that one, that would have taken me to the eastbound circle and just line platforms. And it's just the fact that it's Victoria Station, there's a lady there, she's going to the coach station. Speaking to my friend on Twitter this morning, he's basically saying he can now catch a flight from Gatwick and he lives in Liverpool. So for the first time, his journey is step free all the way from Liverpool Lime Street down uh, into London, across to Victoria, lifts here and then Gatwick Express down uh, to the airport. So by installing lifts at Victoria, you're enabling someone to fly from I Liverpool off out of Gatwick, which is great. So here's the diagram which you need. Remember, we're looking at the left side here as the Cardinal Place entrance and the lifts on the right-hand side of this diagram have been opened down to the Victoria Line for a while now. It's the district and circle lines that have now been opened up. And the odd thing you have to remember is that if exiting the eastbound platform, you have to go down first to the interchange level and then along walk to lift D and go there if you're then exiting the station. And if you're changing between the westbound district and circle line platforms to the Victoria line, then you have to take two lifts for that, as it can't be done in one. So we're at Victoria line 
Yeah, well you've got the southbound Victoria line there, you've got the northbound Victoria line there, and lift F is through here. They've dug through a little bit of wall here, they've come around here, and this is then the lift from minus four here, it takes you to minus three and to minus two. Let's go do that. No lift, no lift, no lift, no lift. Ah, lift, 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 lift. So we're on the eastbound subsurface platform, that's a circle line train going. See, and the lift is down the front. So carriage one takes you to the middle corridor, middle corridor, middle corridor, middle corridor, middle corridor. And that is to that lift here. I think I've just about worked it out. All of our lifts completed um, just last week. So in total we have seven lifts. Uh, one is a fireman's lift, but all the other six are for customer service. And that enables our customers to travel step-free from this station in between the Victoria, District and Circle lines um, uh, throughout the station. It's, it's an ongoing process actually. So we're trying to describe to them the benefits of using the new walkways. It keeps them moving, it keeps them going through the station rather than being held outside, which helps reduce congestion on the platforms. That were the 75th Step Free Station on London Underground, and um, we're really happy that we're able to offer all of our customers access to the underground. So that's the eastbound train leaving. It's worth pointing out on the tube map right now. We've got the blue wheelchair blob for Victoria. It's the standard white no lift, no step free connector blob for the subsurface lines. I think that'll go to a white connector blob to so like Bond Street where that's got a blue and a white. Victoria on the new tube map which should come in December of this year, 2018, will have a blue and a white blob for step free for Victoria. Uh, just to point out, by the way, behind me, that's the new Cardinal Place entrance and exit. That has its own new escalators and lifts. That has been open for quite a while now. It's the other set of lifts that are all new. Why not come to Victoria, have a look round, get your head around the new lifts, try out the new gate line and come and see the Tube's newest and 75th Step 3 station.